Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is the last day of my Crushing on 26 series. I am so incredibly sad that the month of August is over. I can't believe it's the 31st already, but I think that I've saved the best video for last. Now this is one of my most requested videos and it is a handbag collection video. Quick disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or show off any of my items. These are items that I've worked very hard to purchase and I'm just really excited to share them with you guys. So. Um, today I'm going to be going over my entire collection and I have everything from clutches to smaller bags to medium to large. I do have inexpensive and designer. Um, it just kind of varies in there in between a little bit. So I've been nervous to do this video for uh, quite a while to be perfectly honest just because I don't look at my bags as a whole very often um, and so I'm a little bit nervous to see what I'm working with here so if you would like to see then go ahead keep watching so I'm going to try and do more mini reviews on these bags rather than a full-blown review just for the sake of time because I do have like 18 or 20 bags that I need to get through rather quickly. So if you'd like to see a full review, I've done a few videos that I will link down below. Otherwise, be sure to leave a comment if you would like to see one that I haven't done yet. So the first bag I'm going to start off with is one that is very near and dear to my heart and I've done a handbag review on this bag already this month and it is the Balenciaga City. I do have it in the sort of mint green color and then I also have it in black. So if you'd like to see a full review on that I will leave that video down below but I obviously love this bag if I have it enough to have the same exact bag in two different colors. I'm currently using this bag right now which is why it looks a little bit lumpy and bumpy but this bag means the world to me just because this was the first designer bag that I ever purchased myself with my own money and this is really what started the handbag addiction for me I purchased this bag back in 2008 and my love of handbags just honestly just skyrocketed from there so I can really attribute my collection to this bag the next bag I'm going to show you is by Modalu London, and this is their Pippa bag, and I have it in the tan color. So I keep all my bags, for the most part, stored flat in their dust bags. So that's why this bag is um, currently not all puffed out, but I adore this bag. It does come with a shoulder strap, but I have taken it off just because I think that the bag looks better and more ladylike or sophisticated just by holding it either with your hands or in the crook of the arm. This bag has tons of pockets and storage. It's amazing. So it has the two pockets here in the front and then it has a pocket here in the back. When you open the bag, there are three separate compartments. The first one and the middle one do not have any organization, but tons of room as you can obviously see. And then the back pocket does have a zipper compartment here and then two sidewall pockets here. So just tons of room to organize, lots of space. You could easily fit probably an iPad mini, maybe a regular iPad, a small laptop in here, work documents, all sorts of things. So this bag is very, very versatile versatile and useful. So as I mentioned, most of my handbags I do store flat in their dust bag. So this is an example of one. This is a Louis Vuitton Speedy 35. And when I take it out of the dust bag, this is what it looks like. So it just lays flat like a pancake. I do this just to um, save space and it doesn't um, do anything to the bag because the bag is of a canvas material. So let's puff it up real quick. So this is what the bag looks like when it's all puffed up. Um, you can see it obviously has like some kinks in it, but one once you fill the bag with stuff, you won't even be able to notice it. So like I said, this is the Speedy 35 and this bag is honestly gigantic. If I were to do it all over again, I'd probably get the 30, but if you are interested in the 35, this is fantastic because there is just tons of room. You could easily throw an extra pair of heels in here. You could use this as like a mini overnight bag if you were going somewhere. Um, you can throw work documents in here, an extra sweater. Um, 
I don't even know, you can throw so much stuff in here and it doesn't look overstuffed. That's the best part about the 35. It may feel heavy, but it's not gonna look it. As for the actual bag itself, it just has two handles that you hold in the um, in your hand essentially. And then inside, it's just essentially a bucket bag style. There's one tiny, tiny pocket here, but it doesn't really hold very much at all. The next bag I'm going to show you is one of my particular favorites, especially for fall and winter. And this is by Tori Birch, and this is her Robinson Midi Satchel in the Alpine White or Alpine Snow floral pattern. I purchased this, I want to say two falls ago, and I just fell in love with the pattern and the size of this bag. Um, as you can see, it definitely has some purples, um, some olives, some blues, navies, cobalt blue, but there's also a couple pops of red, which I love, and there's also a pop of red and pink here on the bottom and on the corner. So this bag is absolutely gorgeous, and even though it's white, because it does have so much color, you definitely don't... Um, I feel like it's really hard to stain. It's also that like coated canvas or coated leather material, so it's really easy to wipe clean. You don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain. It won't um, get any like water stains or anything like that. And then on the inside here, this has one pocket and then two sidewall pockets as well. Other than that, it's just a really, really nice size and a beautiful pattern. A very simple work tote or executive style tote that I have is from Ann Taylor. And I just love this bag for the simplicity that it is. It is a black leather and it has gorgeous gold detailing and it has zippers on both the front and the back here. If they unzip, they reveal kind of like a cheeky little polka dot pattern and you get a little bit more space in the bag as well, which I absolutely love. Um, this bag was originally around $100, but I got it on sale for $40. And the fact that it's genuine leather just makes it that much better. It's very smooth, soft, supple, and it can hold a ton, ton in here. There's one pocket for organization, but other than that, it's just a bucket bag and it just has a magnet closure at the top. So very easy to get in and out of, very comfortable to wear on the shoulder with lots of drop room. Um, it's just a great bag, especially for work. One of my favorite recent finds is surprisingly enough from Old Navy and this is their bucket bag. I have it in the tan color but it also comes in a navy and a white color I believe. I love this just because it's so easy to sling over your shoulder and go and it just holds a ton being the bucket bag style. I do have a full review on this bag if you're interested. I'll link it down below. Now, if you know me, this will come as no surprise to you, but I love me a good Rebecca Minkoff bag. And this is the only larger bag that I own from her. All the other bags that I have of hers are smaller clutches or crossbodies. But this is the morning after mini. She does have a larger size, but this is perfect for me. This is in the electric blue color, and I just think it is gorgeous. I love the gunmetal hardware against the blue. It just feels very cool and seasonless, ultimately. There's there's tons of pockets and organization here on the inside and the outside of the bag. And one thing that I love about her bags is the fun liners and her dust bags match every single liner that she has, which is really cool and fun. One of my favorite professional executive style totes is from Michael Kors and this is the large Selma bag. I have the navy version with the gold hardware, but I just love the structure of this bag. It just screams sophistication to me. I do have a full review on this bag if you would like to see more details in depth. I love this leather. It's a Safiano leather and it's a coated leather, so it has the durability of a coated canvas such as the Louis Vuitton Speed but it is in actual leather so you're not just paying for coated canvas. Finally in the larger handbag section I have my last one which I saved the best for last. This is my Chanel bag. Now this handbag means probably more to me than almost any bag in my collection maybe besides my Balenciaga and that is because of what it symbolizes. This was a bag that was purchased for me by my dear mother for graduation from college and 
for me it just it represents so much it represents how hard i have worked and um the legacy that i am leaving upon my family which is absolutely amazing so this bag just is emotional for me it symbolizes a lot now i don't carry this bag often if not ever just because i'm terrified of ruining it the bag that i have is in the color beige claire with gold hardware and i have the jumbo single flap flap in the caviar leather so um if you were to like scratch your nails across it which might be terrifying for some people but you won't scratch this this is very durable leather um and just a quick little tour of the bag it just has these cc's on the outside for the lock the back has one pocket but i would only probably stick like a cell phone just because I would be afraid of um, stretching out the leather back here. They discontinued the single flap a couple of years ago so now this is a rarity so if you open the bag you just go straight into the bag. Most of the bags now have a double flap which adds weight and a little bit of bulkiness in my opinion. I really love the single flap. So in here you can see I just have it stuffed with its tissue and then the chains on the outside most of them are just stuffed inside to um, protect them as well. So this bag is so incredibly gorgeous and I would not trade it for anything in the world. So those are all of my larger bags. Now we're going to move into the smaller bags and the clutches. So I'm gonna start with the crossbody options first. And this is the Michael Kors Medium Studded Selma in the color taupe. I adore this bag. When I first got it, I couldn't stop wearing it. I literally wore it every single day for months on end. It's just a gorgeous neutral color. The studs add a little bit of edginess factor. It has a crossbody strap that is adjustable and just amazing. And and it's just the perfect size. You can wear this going out. There's a zipper pocket that you can zip up your ID or keys or anything that you want to make sure that you don't lose. And it just holds all the essentials very nicely while still looking chic. And the fact that most of these bags here are crossbody, they're hands free, you don't have to worry about it. Crossbody bags, as you will soon see, are my absolute favorite. The next bag I have to show you is a Rebecca Minkoff bag, and here we are starting to get into my Rebecca Minkoff part of the collection. This is the Mini Mab Tote, I believe is what it's called, and this is in the color Minty. Now, I saw this color and knew I had to have it, whether I needed a new Rebecca Minkoff bag or not. I have done a full review on this bag that I will link down below in the description box if you would like to see everything, but one thing that I don't believe I show in the video is the fact that I met Rebecca Minkoff and I got the bag signed by her, which is just awesome. So moving on to the Rebecca Minkoff clutches, I'm going to start with the five zip Mac. This is in the color purple haze and it's just a um, distressed, gorgeous, deep, elegant eggplant type color. And this was the very first um, morning after clutch that I purchased back in 2009 for my birthday, right before my senior year at college. This is a five zip. I believe now they're called the three zips because back in the day there were these three zippers, a top zipper and a back zipper that made it five. Now I believe the only ones that they count are these three in the front because there is no back zipper. Regardless, fun fact, um, I love this because it is the dark purple color, which purple is my favorite color if you don't know, and the gunmetal hardware on this I just think looks really, really nice with the bag. It's just really edgy and dark and really, really fun. And this is the oldest bag of hers that I own, which you can probably tell the inside has a lot of wear and tear. I've spilled some nail polish in here. I've had this bag for, you know, just five years at this point and have just loved it to death. The other regular morning after clutch size I have is the Rainbow Basket Weave and I looked for this bag for it felt like months at a time. I saw the regular morning after bag style. She had it in um, some other larger bag style but I couldn't find the clutch anywhere. I happened to find this at a small online boutique in Texas randomly, tag still attached and of course I flipped out. I adore the colors of this. I just think it's really unique looking and it does have a pocket in the back which most of them now do not so I like that feature just to drop in your cell phone or your keys quickly have access. This pocket is usable but I don't think I've ever used this outside pocket it's just a pain to get in with the clip here and then inside you have a zip pocket here and then two sidewall pockets on this side so tons of space 
tons of room for organization and honestly this holds enough for my my day-to-day -day life now moving into the smaller size this is the morning after clutch mini or also known as the mini Mac and this is in the color lime I purchased this like two maybe three years ago I think like two summers ago I purchased this and I just love the color with the silver hardware this has the clip on the outside and no back pocket so the only pocket that I use is the main compartment and it just has um, one sidewall pocket here and then one small teeny tiny pocket here that you can probably fit like an ID but nothing major but this is great a great size for going out so if you're going out to dinner with girlfriends and then going out to drinks afterwards or you're gonna go to a bar or a club this is great because all you need to throw in here your keys your phone your ID and some lip gloss and you are good to go my friends now if you've seen my Nordstrom anniversary haul you will have seen this but this is a very similar bag and this is the Rebecca Minkoff Avery crossbody so it is about the same size as the mini Mac and it's honestly about the same weight this might be ever so slightly heavier but I honestly can't really tell when I hold them um, both in my hands. I had someone ask me which was heavier and I just love this because as you can clearly see, I do not have a black crossbody. So I knew that I was missing one in my collection. And when I saw this on sale at the anniversary sale back in July, knew I had to grab it. So this is the newest bag to my collection. It has an outside zipper pocket. This is just for show, but the zipper actually works. And then on top inside, there is just one small pocket here for organization, nothing major. But I just thought the gunmetal hardware and the black, it just looked really sleek and edgy and would go with anything. My last Rebecca Minkoff in my collection is the studded fling clutch. And I've had this since I wanna say about 2009 or 2010. This might be one of my oldest bags in my Rebecca Minkoff collection. I love it, it's a black PVC coated canvas and it has gold studs. I use this if you've been following my blog for years or know me in person. I wear this to almost every single wedding or special event just because I feel like it's dressy, but it's edgy at the same time and adds a little bit of um, masculinity to a very feminine fitted dress. So you can wear this in your hand as a clutch or there's also a string on the inside that you can take out and use. It's obviously tangled. Um, inside there's not a lot of room there i normally stick like my id and some cash or a card and then my cell phone and lip gloss and then just like my apartment key in here and that is really all i can fit the last clutch and the last bag in my handbag collection is by Furla, and this is their black oval clutch. I love this clutch. I think the leather is so soft and pretty, and I just love the shape. It's very unique and different. You can carry this under the arm, or you can carry it in your hand. It has a very wide opening and you can fit surprisingly a lot in this bag. It has a zipper pocket on one side and then the other side has a really old school cell phone pocket. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that detail on camera. It may be able to fit like an old Nokia brick, but I, there's no way it's fitting a new like Galaxy phone or an iPhone. So you could probably stick like a lip gloss or something in here just for organization. But I just think this clutch is really classy looking and it would go with a lot of different outfits. And it's just a really great quality leather. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking forever. So that is my handbag collection. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoyed my Crushing on 26 series. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback. It is very much appreciated. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me comments for future video suggestions in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.